Hi guys, welcome back to Our Wyoming Life. My name is Mike and please subscribe. Follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Today we've got a big project on the way and it's not on the project list but it's something that needs done every single year and that is pulling the bulls off the cows. We have three bulls, four bulls, four bulls down with the cows, I think. Oh my gosh, I just totally forgot. Uh, we've got four bulls down there with the cows and uh, we are gonna get those guys moved off um, and we're gonna do it in a whole new way because this year the bulls, well, three out of four of them, aren't gonna be sticking around. Three of the bulls are actually going to auction tomorrow. Uh, those guys, uh, they've been on the ranch here for three or four years and with the drought and the lack of hay and everything else that we have going on, we really just can't afford to feed them the massive amount of food that the bulls eat. So our youngest bull, which uh, his name is Doof Vader, he's a black Angus bull, he'll be staying here on the ranch. We're going to get him sorted off. But the other three are going to go. We have one bull down there that has a pretty bad limp. He's got a bad front left leg, if I remember right. Uh, so we're going to do him a little bit of a favor, and we're going to move bulls in a whole new way, and that is that we're going to actually build a small corral down by where the bulls are on summer pasture. We're going to move the bulls into those corrals and then we're going to load them with the AeroQuip portable corral or portable chute and get them in a trailer and then truck them the four and a half, five miles back here to the ranch. So there's a lot to do to get ready to do that. And the first step uh, this morning is going to be getting a bunch of panels together and building that corral down in summer pasture. Luckily today we have the help from our friend Jeff, Ranch Hand Jeff right over here. And we're gonna be stealing some panels from Aaron's gardens, which this garden is pretty much done already, so we don't care if the deer get in here. We're gonna steal some of these panels. How many panels do you think we need? We can I've start never done with, this, so I don't know. I've never done this either, because I've never had help. Oh. <laughs> yeah, usually usually what we do is we walk the bulls all the way home. No. Oh. So we just get behind them. We get them separated them. off, and we just push them. Fortunately, we have one bull that has a limp. And if the bulls need to be sold tomorrow, we need to get them home today. And sometimes walking them home can take two days, <laughs> um, just depending on how they're feeling. And we've got the wind coming up, and that's going to stop us from being able to move anything, depending on which way the wind's blowing. They don't like to walk into the wind. So doing it this way, when we have the help and we have your help, um, I hope will work a little bit better. But... So we've got what four on here now? Yeah. I don't know. Math. Count. <laughs> four. Four. Yes. So let's grab four more and see where that gets us. Okay. And then uh, if we have to, we can always come back home and get more. We can. All right. So we've got our panels. Now we've got uh, one other thing to grab, and that is the portable arrow clip. So we're going to get that. Um, the panels are hooked up to Jeff's pickup here, obviously, as Jeff takes off on the trailer. And I'm going to grab my pickup and bring down the portable arrow clip. All right, so this is the portable arrow quip. Uh, we're gonna be taking this down and hooking it into our portable corral system or our makeshift corral system. We've got the ability to hook directly up to the pickup. But one of the problems with this thing is that it never seems to have enough charge in the battery, which is located right up there. So that's why I brought this along. This is a NOCO boost. We're gonna see how it works on the whole thing. So Jeff is gonna hold the camera there. Thank you, Jeff. You think this will work? I think so, yes. <laughs> I gotta get taller. There we go. Am I going up or down? Up. <laughs> and are we lined up on the pickup? All 
right, so that thing worked pretty darn good. Got it down anyway. We'll take it down with us and we'll see if we can use it to get the trailer off and set up. Still showing full charge, so that's kind of cool. They, uh, they're pretty handy to have. Yeah, Jeff actually convinced me to buy this one. <laughs> Don't blame me. Don't blame you. <laughs> I had to. I had to tell Aaron something. I was like, it was Jeff's idea. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. I, I've had one for several years, and I love them. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. I like it. All right. We're all hooked up here. Jeff has the panels, so now we can head down to summer pasture, about five miles away or so, and uh, we'll start setting all this stuff up. It's like big Legos or. Lincoln Logs or whatever generation you grew up in. Uh, pretty easy to put together, but we're gonna kind of come up with our design as we go, so that'll be interesting. And uh, we're heading down to the uh, to the summer pasture where the bulls are located. They're all mixed in with the cows, so it's gonna be a little bit of a trick to get them sorted off. And this is actually probably our first trip down. Uh, next trip, we actually have to take the trailer to be able to move the bulls and we have to take a four-wheeler and the gator to be able to move the bulls so we're going to use the the four-wheeler and the gator to sort the bulls off the cows and then of course the uh the stock trailer to move the bulls back home so um lots of lots of back and forth here that will hopefully save us time in the long run um if you remember last year when we moved bulls home it was actually a two-day ordeal um, it was a two-day basic cattle drive that we had to move the bulls. We got them moved about halfway and then uh, decided to let them rest overnight and move them the rest of the way uh, the following day to get them home and then moved into the bull pasture where they spend their entire uh, their entire winter and all the time that they're not with the cows. Uh, this year we're going to be selling three of the bulls so we don't have to uh, so we don't have to feed them over the over the winter. Um, also they're getting a little bit older so it's time to bring in some new bulls anyway and uh, this will definitely help out the ranch in the long run. So uh, being able to load them up down in summer pasture hopefully will make um, a big difference and be worth all the time that we're putting into this. I think what I'm also going to do is once we get this whole corral set up, I'm actually gonna leave it there um, just in case we have any other issues. I know I've got a calf out here that has an abscess that I need to get in. Um, we're probably just gonna leave all of this set up so that we can do that and uh, and use it to, to bring in any other cows that we might have issues with or, or anything like that. In fact, it may be easier just to load up cows, all, all the cows, rather than bring them home. No, that would take way too long, but um, we can we can use it if we have a cow that's sick or anything like that. So I should have probably done this a long time, built long time ago, built a uh, an actual um, corral system down here, especially since we have the portable aero equip, but haven't gotten to it yet. So this is what we're left with. Also, if you notice, the panels that we grabbed are pretty dang hefty panels. Um, I'm hoping to use a portion of the fence line um, to be able to keep the bulls in. We'll see if that works or not. Um, I hope it does. I, we have had bulls go through fences before, but I'm hoping to be able to utilize a portion of the fence line as part of our new corral uh, to be able to get the bulls in. It's going to be pretty small, pretty simple, pretty much just an alley is what I'm thinking um, to be able to lead the bulls directly to where we need them to be. We are here. And the whole time down here, I've been thinking, how many bulls do we have out here? Three or four? And I'm thinking it's three, but we're gonna check in with Jeff really quick here and see what he thinks. Three bulls, right? There's not math involved here, is there? No, I'm trying to remember if there's three or four there bulls. There's three. There's three. See, I all morning I've been thinking four, but normally we would have had four bulls. We actually went with three bulls and a longer breeding season this year um, to to compensate for having the three bulls because normally we would have had four bulls with 100 cows. We lost 100 one cows. last year, so... Exactly. Yeah. Okay. See, I knew my brain was, <laughs> was doing something. Okay, so this is where we're going to set up. The cows are actually located about another mile or so away, and I kind of debated driving down to them and setting up a little bit closer, but I don't know. It's it's six of one and a half dozen of the other. I'm thinking that bull, the limpy gimpy bull, you can't really see him up there, but he's right up on top of that hill. And that's our limpy gimpy bull. So we want him to be 
Is that is that bad to call him Limpy Gimpy? I don't know. Depends on how he identifies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, so yeah, so we're gonna set up here. We're closer to him. He doesn't have to walk as far. We'll have to bring in the other two bulls plus him makes three. That is three. That's math. I have just enough fingers. That's as far as we get. All right, so this is where we're gonna be setting up. I'm thinking like a narrow alley alongside the fence here, turning and then into the arrow clip. Relatively simple. Sounds good. Clip, kind of in place we are going to now jack it up get the wheels off get it set down on the ground and uh, get it disconnected from the pickup goes to here. That section goes to here. Once the bulls get into here, Make sense? It does now that it's set up. <laughs> so now that you see the whole setup, 10 out of 10, 5 out of 10. Well, me? Yeah, you. Who else am I talking I to? I thought you might have been asking them. 10 out of 10. I'm. You think this is going to work? I think so. Okay. Jeff is in an optimistic mood today, which is actually pretty rare. So you guys should enjoy this. This is nice. Okay. Can't we just get a helicopter and pick them up out of the field with like a crane like you have at the toys when you go, you know, pick up the stuffed animal out of the crane machine? Yeah. We should just be able to do that. Why doesn't somebody comment that? What do you think this is? Yellowstone? I know, right? Yeah. Where's my helicopter? <laughs> we barely got bailing twine. <laughs> what are you talking about? And it's second hand, so. Is it really? Oh yeah, look how old it is. Oh my gosh. This is this is probably 50 year old roll wow it was in my dad's garage when i was a kid <laughs> and now it's in my truck and who would have thought you'd ever be in the middle of nowhere wyoming putting together a goofy ass fence to run bulls in using baling twine that you looked at since you were a kid that's right that's so, crazy so when your significant other says we might need that someday you might need it someday Women, send hate mail to Jeff <laughs> at rwyomonglife.com, not to me. Could go both directions. That's why I said significant other. I know that uh, oh, I'm going to get my dig a hole here. <laughs> <laughs> Some women keep things inside the house that maybe they don't need in case they need it. So it goes both ways. Like some men. Did you get that? Yep. Some women keep some men. That they oh, don't need. I get it. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, that went right over my head. We are all set, ready to go. Next step uh, is to head home. Uh, Jeff and I are, uh, do you want to just leave your, well, now bring your, we're going to leave all this stuff down here, so just bring your truck home. We'll hook up a trailer. We'll put the gator in the back of the trailer. You drive the four wheeler home down here, or the gator. 
then we'll get the four-wheeler out and we should be set yep. and we can go get cows speaking of cows here they, here they come all right i'll see you back at the house okay. they're all loaded up um trailers back there jeff is grabbing the uh the gator and bringing that down and uh we'll be down there in just well for you the blink of an eye back up to the shoot or you want to back up to the shoot no you can back up okay fine you're way more better than i am way more better yep here's our plan uh because we don't have a loading chute what we are going to do is we're going to remove a portion of our head catch here or our head holder we're going to remove this black part here and that way we'll be able to back the trailer right up the problem is then we have an elevation difference between the bottom of the arrow equip and the top of the trailer. So we are gonna utilize those jacks once again and bring this up in the air. Now, I can hear everybody at AeroQuip right now saying, don't do it, <laughs> don't do that. But I can tell you, if you wanna see something tested, give it to a farmer or rancher. They're gonna use it in a way that you probably didn't anticipate. And I, I'm honestly, worst case scenario is it breaks in half. I, I honestly don't know what could happen. Um, we're gonna basically just create a ramp out of the entire thing. Worst case scenario, what I can what I can see is if the bowl gets to the front, counterbalances, the whole thing tips. So that's why we bought brought some cinder blocks along. Cinder blocks will slip underneath there just to make sure that nothing horrible happens. Let's uh, check in with Jeff and see what his thoughts of this entire plan are. I don't see why it shouldn't work. <laughs> You're just having an optimistic day, man. This is awesome. All right, uh, we need our battery doohickey jack this thing up a little bit we'll pull that off we should be good to go you want to yank that off if you can I can look at you go Superman Uh, I don't know. What do you say? Do you want to go up and try to get the limpy bull? Yeah, he's the closest, and we know where he is for sure. So, yeah, I'd say we run up there and walk him down. Okay. Do you want the four wheeler or the gator? Four wheeler. Okay. Also, today's music in the video brought to you by Treb Lab. This is actually a really cool little Bluetooth speaker they were nice enough to send me. So, thank you guys for this. Check it out. It's really simple to use. It actually just pairs right to your phone and you can listen to all the music you want. Especially when you're out here in the field, a little windy and could be a little loud. This is actually one of the louder Bluetooth speakers that I've found, so very cool. All right, here we go. in about the worst spot that he could be in on the side of this hill. This is no fun at all. There's Jeff up there as we try to work him around. We're gonna try to bring him down this fence line. 
we can without rolling the gator. Jeff's still back there on the hill. That was a little nerve wracking. Um, <laughs> we're gonna try to move this guy down. Hopefully, get him moved around and into the trailer. There's Jeff, made it back down to us. So as soon as he goes in there, we can close it behind him. Come on, big kid. Come on. Get in there. Forgot to release the thing. That's okay. All right. Got to stop making shit look so damn easy. <laughs> well, because you know, I'll tell you what. Now somebody's gonna comment and they're gonna say that that was CGI. Like that—that yeah. that was way too easy, man. Sorry. Yeah, I know, right? You want to go find another bowl? We can. Yes, indeed. We can fit two more in there. That right. worked really well. Really well. Okay, let's go find them. him moving our goal is to get him paired up with that other bowl that's up here by the windmill and then if we can get the two connected move the both of them at the same time up to our arrow quick that is our goal anyway we will see if that happens
always following one cow in heat. Kind of reminds me of high school, actually. in there. Okay, cl close the slider. Okay. Now close that one. There's a latch up on the top. Okay. All right, big boy. Come on. Let's go. Come on, big boy. Come on. No, not that side, you dingus. get doof in here even if we get them locked into here we can take these two go drop them off at the house and then come back and get him whatever but he's close by so let's just get him in okay so we missed doof um, but he's right there so I don't think it's gonna be a major problem to get him in um, but we got the two that we're selling and they're leaving so that's a good thing okay come on Doof. come on boy I got ahead of him, sorry. All right. oh. No! No! Locked in. 
Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. Wow. Let's take these two big stinkies, take them to the arrow clip yeah. and drop them off. Okay. And then we'll come back and get him and we'll put him somewhere too. I don't know where though. Oh. You got one. Oh, that hole put that gate right into my knee. I saw you limping. Oh, at least he didn't oh. step on you. No, he didn't. I thought I was going to get run over a couple times though. All right, we're back at the main corral system. Jeff is going to walk through, open up all the gates that need to be opened. Alrighty, those guys are at least in the corrals. That's about uh, the best we're going to get right now with them fighting. But now we get to go down and get Doof and bring him back. We'll put him right back in with them. And then tomorrow morning we'll sort Doofus off as the other two head off to auction. So that's the plan. <laughs> hey, Doof. Okay, everybody's in. That was fast. I'll pull forward a little bit. We load the four-wheeler back up. Pick up our tools and whatnot. Bring the gator back? I am. All right. Thank you, sir. That was fun. It was fun. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It was something new, so that's always good. There you go. There you go. All righty. I'll I see you back at the house. I have to extricate the gator from our uh, yeah. good luck. system. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. All the bulls are now officially away from the cows. Doof Vader here will go back uh, to the arrow equip also where he will get to stay tomorrow while the other two are gonna leave and head on over to uh, uh, Buffalo, Wyoming where we're gonna take them to the livestock option, auction if it's gonna happen tomorrow, I hope it is. I haven't really checked on that yet. Otherwise, we gotta wait until Thursday to take them to Belfouche. But either way, uh, they will be gone here within the next couple days, saving us food um, and of course money over the winter. Uh, we'll end up buying some new bulls in the spring and hopefully we can take you guys through that process as well and like i said doof vader is going to stick around and uh he's actually two three years old two years old yeah two years old so uh no he's three he's three he'll stick around um and he's got a lot more work ahead of him here on the ranch as well so do we because we have hay coming in today and a whole lot more happening i hope you're able to join us on sunday for our weekly vlog where we get a chance to take you through the entire week on the ranch every sunday morning that video comes out about six o'clock um, mountain time sunday morning so if you're able to check that out throughout the day uh, we really do appreciate it so back to work um i might take a break might get some lunch and then, uh, and then it's back to work. We got a stack A, and like I said, we got hay on the way. So, lots to do. Uh, no rest for the wicked. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. We'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life. Hey, Doof. Ready to go? Spider-Man. Getting 
closer to his face. <laughs> that's what Yeah. See, that's what he's trying to avoid. This one's holding his ground. That's the, this black one needs to move his butt. 